Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, weekly live immigration attorney chat. I'm attorney Megan Pastrana. For those of you who are uh, new to our firm, new to our channel, uh, our YouTube channel and our Facebook uh, page, our firm is dedicated exclusively to helping couples across the nation and across the world uh, in navigating the U.S. immigration process, which can oftentimes be quite a labyrinth. And so the other attorneys on the team and myself, we love to make these videos because we know that uh, knowledge is power and it's so important for couples who are just starting out or who are going through the immigration uh, process to have up to date and important information about the immigration process. And the way that we get a lot of our questions are from uh, current clients or prospective clients when we're talking in initial consultations, um, and then also from here on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. So depending on where you're watching this, if you have a burning question, we'd love to uh, give you information and feedback and clarity. And so please feel free uh, to just do a hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay. Uh, and let us know, what are your questions? What do you want to know about uh, the world of immigration as it relates to couples? Because that that is our expertise. That is what we are 100% focused um, on in our immigration uh, representation. So I have a couple different topics. Some of them are things that I have discussed before, but I know that they are, are still coming up and I wanted to provide even more clarity. They're questions that we've just been receiving a lot recently. Um, and so, yeah, and, and I'm excited because we're here, depending on when you're watching this, we're here a few days uh, before Christmas, before the holidays. If you, you know, if you celebrate Christmas or, or whatever holidays uh, you celebrate, I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here uh, with all of you. I, I have my door open. I usually have it closed, but I want to, us to enjoy. I, I, I really love Christmas lights, enjoy that glow. Um, and also because I have uh, a dog. Uh, and she will want to walk around in the background. And so I have recorded videos recently with the door closed. And then she sometimes she'll sit there in front of the door really perturbed uh, that she can't come and go as she pleases. So you might see her in the in the background. All right. Without further ado, let's dive in. Which is faster? Which option is faster? This is such a common question for couples. Is it better to do um, the, the K-1 visa or the spouse visa? So if you're new to this process, all this alphabet soup uh, might, might feel a little overwhelming, but K-1 is the fiance visa uh, and, and CR-1 is basically is the spouse visa. And so since, since the, the start of the pandemic in 2020, that's really that, the catalyst of what has caused this question and this debate and um, this inquiry from couples as to, should I do the fiance visa or should I do the spouse visa? Um, previously, prior to 2020, uh, the fiance visa was hands down by far, typically the fastest way for individuals to be able to be together if they, if they weren't um, married yet. Um, back in the good old days, right? <laughs> Before 2020, I remember helping couples and we would get through the process, you know, in four to six months. And then, you know, there were, there were issues with even separate from COVID immigration was having funding issues and then uh, uh, COVID happened and it just aggravated uh, the situation. And so that's, that has just been a common theme, a common question. I know that there are so many, uh, so many uh, opinions on this from, from couples who are in the process or who, have already completed the process. Everyone, everyone will have their opinion on which they think is faster. And so, you know, and our firm has talked about this topic quite a few times, but I thought, you know what, with all of the changing wait times and depending again on when you're watching this video, I'm, I'm making this here at the end of uh, December of 2022. And so I wanted to make an updated video with, uh, based on current wait times and what we're seeing. And so the famous, famous attorney words, right? Uh, it all depends. And I know nobody wants to hear that. It would just be nice to just have a, a simple answer, which one is faster. But the reality is, is it's going to depend on your particular case and your particular situation uh, and, and a lot of other factors, including, you know, the, the country that you will be uh, having your consular or interview or, or interview at the embassy. I'm not going to leave you hanging with, it just depends. I, I want to give you a little bit more background, a little bit more clarity on 
exactly how, how these two can actually, each one of them could be faster depending on your situation. So what are some of the factors to take into consideration? Well, here at the end of uh, December of 2022, USCIS immigration has posted estimated wait times for um, both of these, these case types. That is one phase of the case, and that's an important estimate of time to take into consideration. Um, but there's also a wait time after that first step, that very first step, that petition, that very first step with that petition, you'll be proving to immigration that you have a real relationship based on love. And then once that petition is approved, then the next step in the process would be that embassy or consular interview. And so, um, Hi, I'm so glad we have some some people who are watching live. I know everybody's in the hustle and bustle of the holidays um, that it, I wasn't sure how many people would be available. So if um, thanks so much for being here. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to throw them in the in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them after the topics that we have uh, for today. So uh, back to the topic at hand, what are some of the things that impact whether or not um, the, the fiance visa or the spouse visa will be faster? Current wait times show that the K-1 visa process is taking about 15 months for immigration to make a decision on that first step. So it's an, it really is, it's an, it's an estimate, could take less time or more time, but that's where it's sitting at. The, the spouse visas are falling in that, in a similar range. They're, they have different service centers and currently in December of 2022, we're seeing wait times anywhere from 10 months to 15 months. So pretty similar, right? Uh, so it'll really just, it, it really, it re really based on that petition, uh, there's not one that's necessarily faster. A lot of people are saying hands down the, the spouse visa is faster just because the, the, the fiance visa wait times have exploded to 15 months. Another thing um, to take into consideration with which, which option will be faster for you is when can you get married? That's something that when we are working with couples, you're, if you're in two separate countries, when is the next time you can even, uh, you know, be together to visit one another? So yeah, the spouse visa might take less time to get that approval on that petition by a few months. But if it's going to take you a few months before you can even be together in the same country and have everything in, in line for uh, being able to get married, you're kind of putting yourself at the same wait time, right, as, as the fiance visa. So that's one thing to take into consideration in balancing your options uh, is how soon could you get, you know, how soon can you get married? There are some, uh, there are some countries where the wait time for a spouse visa to get an interview actually is longer than the fiance visa. So while it is, might be painful to wait a few more months on that petition to be approved by immigration uh, for, for the fiance visa, it's better in the sense that if you're if, if you're from um, Mexico, currently that's has Mexico has the highest volume of cases, uh, the highest volume of, of um, individuals immigrating. And so the wait time for the spouse visas at the U.S. embassies and consulate and, and, and Mexico is actually much longer than the fiance visa. So currently the when whenever we're, we're working with couples who one individual is from Mexico, typically that fiance visa is a better option. There, that's just general advice. Um, please know that there can be other factors to take into consideration as to, you know, whether or not um, the fiance visa would be the better option. In general, I would say right now what we are seeing that the wait times for both are pretty similar. I mean, you, you're talking about a few months. And what I encourage all of you, I hope, I want the biggest takeaway from this information is that there can be a paralysis. Options are great, but there can be a paralysis when you're having to choose between two things that causes you to kind of get stuck. And we hate to see that because we know you want to be together. And so it's definitely important to do research. It's definitely important, you know, to speak with an immigration attorney and get clarity on what is the best option for you. But the fastest the fastest option either way is going to be to make a decision and get that case started. Right. So they're kind of they're kind of uh, at the same. They're kind of pacing it at the same rate right now. So, uh, you know, either option can be can be great. The most important thing, the thing that you have in your control is to make a decision and 
to get something filed. So I hope that that gives you clarity and I hope that that helps with that, that question.